G'day team, welcome to another video. Today, I'm gonna to go through um, two ways to print your project. So congratulations, you've finished a job. Um, it's ready for you to either print it to self-check it or print it for it to be, be checked by someone else or sent out. So uh, the two ways to do this is to print to PDF and to export to PDF. Um, we don't print to paper anymore because it's 2022 and that is illegal. Um, so let's get started with the first one. So print to PDF is pretty um, pretty easy. Go down to print, go across here, print, or you can go control P, or I think there's a little button at the top there, which is also print. Um, the very important things is you want to make sure that printing to PDF, you can choose whatever actual you know PDF printer you want. Uh, different computers will have different, different ones, but Microsoft print to PDF is pretty good. Um, you want to go combine multiple selected sheets and then you go down here into here um, where is it like where you can actually select the sheets so I deselect the views and then you can click and drag all the way down or you can go check all or whatever just check the sheets that you want to print um, in the settings the the only thing that you really need to make sure of is obviously like you know paper placement is centered, paper size is okay. Um, yeah, it's gonna be an A3 for if, using this method, if you're printing it to A3, it's going to only print to that size. Whereas if you wanna combine multiple sizes into the one PDF, you have to use export PDF, which I'll explain after this, but yeah. Um, with the zoom, the zoom's important. So you have to make sure it's zoom to 100% of size. Um, something easy to remember with the zoom is if you change the zoom, it's going to change the scale. And if you change the scale, you're going to go to jail. So don't change the scale, make sure it's zoomed to 100%. Um, vector and raster, you can toggle between these depending on what kind of elevations you've got going on. It'll tell you that you can't print in vector or raster. I can never remember, it, it's, it doesn't, it's not particularly important. Um, and then you can choose between the like colors, replace half tones with lines. There's a bunch of options, but none of these are like super critical. Um, so yeah, check, check your settings and then it's pretty much just going to be a case of going, okay, well in this case I haven't selected any sheets yet. And then go, okay, choose where you want to, um, where you want to save it and then you're good to go. Now export to PDF. It's a little bit more fiddly, but I believe it, resu it results in a, a better PDF because things like uh, section heads will actually be interactive. So if we were to go to a floor plan, so if this was, if this was the PDF, I could double click on that section head on the PDF and it's actually gonna take me to the uh, to the section. So in 20, Revit 2023, the print to, uh, export to PDF option is actually built into the toolbar at the top. But for um, us plebs, we would have to go to export PDF. So a lot of this is going to look quite similar to print to PDF. So you're going to have to go through and change like the export range. Let's go um, change the sheets, change the sheet, uh, the filter to just say sheets. And then we want to choose all of the sheets that we've got here, go select. So I've actually run into a, um, a serious problem with exporting to PDF in Revit 2022. And that is that uh, as far as I can work out, you can't change the order of these sheets. So instead of going sheet one, um, sheet two, like logically, it will go sheet one, 10, 11, 12, 13. So it's like in alphabetical order rather than uh, numerical, which is just not that great. Um, you could manually rename the sheets as needed, um, but Revit 2023 does have an option of customizing the um, the order that the sheets get printed in, which is uh, which is much better. So I've actually jumped forward in time into Revit 2023 here, uh, as you can see by the little blue boxy things down in the uh, project browser here. Um, so we'll jump into export to PDF. Um, it looks a little bit different, but largely the same. So this is where we can go through and manually choose which uh, which sheets we want. And then this is this is that button that I was talking about, edit print order. 
um, yeah, this is exactly what you need. When you've got more than, you know, 10 sheets or whatever, it's it's uh, pretty necessary. So, yeah, this was a good addition from Autodesk because obviously in 2022, it's not very user friendly. So a very important thing is uh, that I've just noticed here, it has defaulted to fit to page. We have to change that to zoom. And then we can use sheet size, which would mean if you've got an A2 title block mixed in with a bunch of A3s or an A1, or you could you know, even use an A0, it's going to just print them as the sheets that they are and automatically combine them, which is, which is very handy. Um, the old uh, back in my day, um, we had to print one part of the PDF in A3 and then another part in A2 or whatever it was, and then you would combine them in the post, the post PDF process um which was annoying but now if you if you use this feature it's all just done for you which is which is great yeah so uh that's all there's nothing too much in that but there's a few things that can get you in trouble when, when it comes to printing printing a job out so hopefully you got something out of that and enjoy the video we'll talk to you next time cheers